So here's that junker bicycle again. You know the, the same one for which I rebuilt the uh, rear wheel. And a couple of months ago I replaced the uh, brake levers or levers. But there still is an issue with the uh, rear brake. I'll try to demonstrate. All right. I locked the uh, rear wheel. But I can still move the uh, bicycle. And that's probably because I uh, put some oil on here to get rid of the uh, noise. I have no idea what is causing this whining noise. Well, the noise issue is gone, but um, the drum brake seems to be dragging. This, uh, this lever here is not uh, returning properly and the cable is, well, it is completely loose, but still it is uh, dragging when cycling. So I want to take this uh, uh, drum brake out because I found a replacement. So let's take the uh, bicycle indoors because I think we might be getting some rain. Also the wind is picking up. I'm standing with my right foot on the uh, brake lever. See how easy I can move the wheel. Yeah, that oil did help with the uh, noise but there's not a lot of stopping power left. So I guess I will have to uh, take out the wheel. Removing the uh, rear wheel from a bicycle with a full chain case is a big uh, job. Um, except for the uh, chain, everything on this side should be loose. Can you hear that jumbo jet flying over the barn? Because I can. Yeah, it's kind of hard to avoid that greasy chain. Okay, now I should be able to slide this thing out. What is... Of course, the whole wheel is uh, stuck behind the uh, mud part. There it is. And still I need to touch that dirty chain. Well, it's free. At least that part is done. But I did get uh, grease on my uh, uh, left index finger. And also my right. Because I rebuilt this wheel last uh, winter. I just uh, retensioned the uh, spokes and it still looks uh, well round enough for me but yeah this is the uh, one and only wheel that is actually being used that I uh, rebuilt so I thought it would be a good idea so next I'm going to have a look inside this uh, drum and if you listen carefully there is some scraping noise and I think it is coming from inside this drum but I'm not sure the uh, bicycle was uh, still riding fine 
the um, three speed shifter was also working perfectly. All right, let's have a look inside. Before I open this thing up, I'll try to show you what I think is wrong with this thing. If I press this lever, it doesn't come back as far as it can go. And I'm hoping that uh, this will be better with uh, with a drum brake that I found on the uh, on the scrapyard. A little bit of lubrication is usually a good thing. Yeah, that's not going to work. I will uh, put the uh, axle in the vise. Well, I got it loose, and it was harder than I thought it would be, and I'm sorry, but I didn't feel like bringing the uh, tripod. I actually had to hammer against this uh, bracket in order to get this nut loose. Alright, let's spin this thing off. And this will be the second time that I'm looking inside the drum brake. The first one, the first time was the uh, drum brake that I liberated from the uh, junkyard. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty oily. And there's also quite a bit of grease in here. And that was also the case with the uh, drum brake that I got from the scrapyard. That's a uh, kind of surprised me. If a car drum brake would uh, look like this, uh, well, you would have a problem. And as you can see, there's still plenty of uh, brake material left. I doubt that uh, there will be a whole lot of uh, bicycles that uh, will wear these things out in the Netherlands. Because uh, without any. Hmm. There's a washer. I should make a mental note of that. Uh, without any uh, hills, uh, brakes have uh, have an uh, easy life in this country. It still feels perfectly smooth on the inside. It's also rather dirty, a lot dirtier than I. Uh, Imagined. There's another jumbo jet flying over. So it looks like this last bit of travel doesn't uh, do a whole lot. It certainly doesn't move the uh, brake shoes. So I don't think this was the uh, problem. But there is some uh, some dirt, some fibers, maybe a piece of rope or string in here. Maybe that was uh, causing trouble. Maybe it just needs a uh, good cleaning. Here's a side by side comparison. With the, uh, with the one that I found on the uh, junkyard, this one, and it looks exactly the same, although the old one is a little bit more rusty. It also has some sort of bushing on this, uh, on this side, so I better uh, move this onto here. But this one is only, well, it's not as oily, but there's still a whole lot of dirt on here. So the plan is uh, to clean out this, uh, well, it seems to be mud. The one that I found on the scrapyard is a bit uh, rusty. 
So I will uh, take this off with a uh, piece of sandpaper. This is the old brake shoe. And I'm wondering how hard it will be to remove this. Whatever it is. I'm wondering if I can remove it without destroying it. It's screwdriver time. I don't think it's a good idea to try and uh, take that other one apart. This is it is a uh, steel piece. a socket on here and uh, give it a little whack with a hammer I can get it back in place perhaps a bit small good enough works and it's not like this is going to go anywhere when it is all uh, assembled so yeah maybe I will take it uh, apart well I've decided that I'm not going to take this apart but there is some rust on this uh, brake shoe so I'm going to um, See if I can sand that away with some, uh, well, what is it? 80 grit. Too bad I cannot really uh, chuck this up in the lathe. And I'm not really worried about asbestos because this uh, bicycle isn't uh, very old probably something from in the 90s although this uh, dust is probably still not really healthy well I couldn't resist and took the old uh, uh, brake drum apart and I guess uh, these are all the parts that make up the uh, brake drum uh, this uh, well, I still don't know what to call them. They got a little bit damaged because I needed to use a lot of force, especially on the uh, the fig one. But I should be able to reuse them. Um, I did sand the uh, brake shoes. Here you can see the uh, sandpaper that I used. Nice and black. Um, I found out that this uh, bushing uh, that was inside his uh, brake drum is uh, well it fits over the uh, cone and locks everything in place so it kinda makes the uh, uh, the cone into a fixed cone and I did find out that the play in this uh, brake lever is in this shaft if I hold it on this side, you can see that it is uh, moving. I guess I could grind this off and then uh, weld it. That uh, should take care of the problem. And then I could uh, reassemble all of this and reuse it on the, uh, on the front wheel. Because I'm also planning to take that one apart. And And this is the uh, replacement brake drum, the one that I found at the scrapyard after I cleaned it up and uh, used some sandpaper on the brake shoes. Hey, it almost looks uh, brand new and uh, this one doesn't have any play in this uh, lever. So that's uh, 
well it's a good thing I guess the wheel is still waiting for us in the vise and I just took off the cone and put a few drops of oil in here in the hope that it will uh, reach uh, the uh, internal gearing I think I should be able to pry off this uh, dust cover but I'm not going to do this I'm just going to uh, put a little bit of fresh grease in here and call it good I guess uh, this is how uh, all that grease ended up inside the uh, drum I'm not sure if I should worry about this I think not it's not a car and again we don't have any mountains in this country so brakes uh, are kinda optional they can be nice to have greasy fingers I think that's good enough. Here you can see that bushing that was uh, on the drum brake and it fits perfectly over this cone. Here's the washer that I found inside the drum brake. And now the drum brake mechanism and this bushing should go on top locking the cone in place. To be honest I'm not completely sure about this washer. I should look it up in the uh, earlier recordings. And here's a lock nut. Now I should probably hold on to this uh, bracket and then uh, fasten the lock nut. A little bit more. Wheel is. Hmm. Might be a little bit too tight. That's probably too much play. Well. I can feel a little bit of play, so I'm calling this good. So now it's time to reinstall the wheel in the bicycle. Oh, first I should test the brake. To be honest. I don't think there's a huge improvement, but maybe the uh, brake shoes uh, need to uh, wear into the uh, drum. Let's hope that is the case. Well, I don't know if you can see this, but I actually washed the bicycle. Well, 
washed is a big word. Right, uh, rinsed off most of the dirt. Oh, I'm forgetting the tire. Uh, when I was uh, washing the bicycle, a lot of paint actually came off from the uh, mud guard. I guess uh, this Junker bicycle, well, it may have been made by uh, Gazelle, but it is not of the same uh, quality. Well, I will uh, reinstall the tire and then uh, reinstall the wheel. Well, the chain had fallen off the uh, front gear wheel, so this is uh, slowing me down. And I will definitely get dirty hands. Oh, this is a nightmare. Well, I'll switch out the camera before I start cursing. Well, after some struggle, I managed to uh, reinstall the chain. And I did get uh, dirty fingers. Um, I still don't know on which side of the frame I should place these uh, chain tensioners. And I did forget this uh, anti-rotation uh, washer. Not sure where uh, this should go. And I also have some uh, some other washers that should probably go in between the frame because there's quite a bit of uh, quite a lot of room between the uh, uh, chain stays I guess I could pinch everything together using the uh, bolts but are the uh, acorn nuts well almost everything is back together including the brake And it is better than before, so that's good. But I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to see the axle through this hole here. And that is probably because I didn't use these uh, two uh, washers. Um, one of these uh, wasn't really fitting over the axle. That's kind of weird. And because there was a uh, uh, room between the uh, the uh, chain stays uh, these washers should probably go uh, between the frame and they are kind of hard to install because then I will have to uh, take off this uh, this chain again and I'm definitely not going to do this tonight because I already uh, went on worked on too long so I'm going to wash my hands and go to bed I'll continue this uh, tomorrow evening and as you can see from my dirty hands I still haven't gone to bed first I'm going to take out this uh, front wheel uh, I reassembled the rear wheel but I did uh, end up with an extra washer that uh, really wasn't fitting on the axle I'm not sure how that uh, happened. And now I should be able to take out the wheel. 
Why is it so difficult? Oh yeah, of course. The cable. Now I should take it. Still is difficult. Come on. Stupid wheel. Give it up. <sighs> Why is it so difficult? I should empty my hands. Okay. Placing my uh, clogs on the handlebar. There it is. I win. Okay. Now we should have a look inside this uh, brick drum. Well, I moved everything back to the vise. Feels like the cones are a bit loose on this uh, hub. Well, that's kind of weird. And also, check this out. It is hard to turn this. And uh, it, it sounds dry and rubbing. And I was expecting this to spin freely. I guess uh, we should have a look inside. That's same bushing again. Some brake dust and compared to the other, uh, to the rear drum, it's pretty dry in here. And the cone has uh, moved upwards, but I think that was uh, my fault. It's reasonably dirty. I inspected the cone and, well, I'm no expert, but I think this is uh, still usable. Well, some fresh grease. It's always a good uh, rust uh, preventative. So, all of the play is gone. Most of the uh, dirt is gone, so it's the next day, next evening actually, and the last thing I did is uh, clean out this uh, uh, drum, and it still looks uh, very nice. I actually did a little bit of sanding on the inside here. Uh, not sure if that uh, was really necessary, but. I did. I adjusted the cone and well the wheel is uh, turning smoothly. Hopefully that uh, will still be the case when I uh, reinstall the uh, brake shoes. And here are the uh, brake shoes after I clean them up. And I also did a little bit of sanding on the uh, brake material, just a light bit. And you can actually see some met metallic particles in this uh, material. Not sure if that is uh, uh, wear or uh, grindings that come from the uh, drum. I don't think so, but yeah. This is the first time that I'm doing a uh, drum brake job, so yeah, I'm not an expert. Well, let's uh, reassemble everything. Oh, I'm forgetting a washer. To be honest, I'm not really sure if there was a washer on the underside. Um. I will look at the uh, 
recordings that I made uh, yesterday. Well, I'm back and I looked at the recording from yesterday and as far as I can tell there wasn't a uh, washer or a spacer inside this uh, uh, brake mechanism. So let's uh, reassemble this. Here's the bushing that fits over the cone. Next a washer and now a lock nut. I'm not sure but there might be a special tool that you can use to uh, uh, grab this uh, bushing. I got myself a number 17 spanner and I'm holding this brake reaction arm while I tighten up this uh, nut. Well, that is definitely too tight. It's still not spinning free enough. Let's try this again. I don't feel any play on the cones. But I will uh, loosen it up just a little bit more. It seems to be spinning freely and smoothly. It looks like there is a little bit of a sideways wobble. It probably will take a little time before the uh, uh, brake uh, shoes have been uh, have been wearing into the uh, brake drum, but it still works. And I guess I will uh, find out how good it works when I take my test ride. Now I'm testing the spokes. These are pretty loose. You know what? I will take off the tire and uh, put the wheel in the in my uh, truing stand. So here you can see that there is a significant sideways uh, wobble in the wheel I will try and uh, see if I can improve this a little bit you know I'm not an experienced wheel builder I can still uh, count the number of wheels that I made on one hand but I'm confident that I should be able to uh, improve this a little bit. It might take me an hour, but it will get uh, done before it's bedtime. And this is what it looks like after uh, turning the nipples for maybe 20 minutes. It's still not perfect, but it's good enough for me, especially since this uh, bicycle doesn't have any uh, rim brakes. So let's uh, reinstall the wheel and go to bed. This is the uh, front mudguard. 
and here you can see that a lot of paint is peeling away well I'm going to remove the uh, loose paint and then uh, put on some oil and then it will be good enough I should have washed uh, this uh, mud guard today all of the uh, mud guard uh, uh, material all of the steel is still uh, here it's just a bit rusty no big deal well I'm not going to uh, mess with paint so I'm painting on some oil so I guess this is oil paint and if it's good for good enough for Rembrandt it's good enough for me of course this will wash away but now there will not be uh, any moisture uh, trapped behind the uh, paint so it is some sort of a improvement it's time to reinstall the wheel and I need to uh, line up the uh, brake reaction arm with the uh, fork and a nut with a gazelle logo and the wheel is back in the bicycle now I need to hook up the brake cable well the uh, drum does make a little bit of noise but maybe that will get better with use well I had to loosen up the brake cable just a little bit and now the drum is no longer uh, rubbing I think it sounds good well that uh, job wasn't too bad for my uh, first uh, uh, drum brake tune up on a bicycle I did uh, cars before but yeah those are a bit more complicated and uh, they need a lot more uh, work with a hammer Yumbo pumps should really make these hoses just a little bit longer that's enough and I already did the rear one before I go to bed I should repeat the test that I did near the uh, start of this video so standing on the brake lever with my uh, clocks and uh, now I'm, I'm trying to move the, the wheel well I can move it but it is definitely a lot harder to do than at the beginning uh, tomorrow I'll, we'll do some uh, more testing well good morning it's uh, testing time and feeding time and the uh, chickens are uh, willing participants in my uh, shit show production alright 
I will let them eat and uh, after that I will test the bicycle. Just a bit. Sounds like the next jumbo jet is uh, passing by. Breaking, huh? and I can uh -huh. still move the bicycle forward without sitting on the saddle. But I am able to uh, flip the wheel, and I did a little test ride, and um, the brakes aren't really impressive, but they are easy to modulate. They are not scary. So I think this is a. Uh, Improvement. Okay, this is only the rear brake. Well, it is able to stop the bicycle. That was the front. Good enough for me. So that's enough testing, and I think this was a uh, success. I'm uh, happy with the result. Seagulls. Noisy bastards. All right, um, that was a uh, good uh, practice run for when I uh, start working on my Batavas bicycle or my Koga Miata bicycle. Both also have uh, brake issues. All right, thanks to, for watching. Next time I hope to make uh, videos a little bit shorter.